Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be changing out the two batteries on Valkyrie, the 2012 E350 bus. If you haven't seen the videos, uh, you can take the walk around in a previous video. Now, as I mentioned, this bus does have two batteries. One of them is located right up here under the hood where you would find any traditional battery. The other is way in the back. Attached to the frame right below the doors here, and it's used primarily for powering the wheelchair lift. Now this jack stand is a 3-ton jack stand, but we really don't need something that's going to bear a ton of weight. All we're doing is lifting the frame. The actual rear wheels are still on the ground. Just making a little bit of clearance to make it easier to get up under there, drop down the battery box, remove the battery, and replace it. Taking a look at the battery box, we can see that there just is not enough room, not enough clearance to lift that battery out of the box without hitting the floor of the van above. To drop the battery box, we need to remove the two bolts on this side and two bolts on the far side. You will notice a steel cable attached to the battery box. What that does is support the battery box when you remove those bolts so it doesn't drop out and fall onto the ground. There's one cable on each side of the box. Now let's get our first glimpse of the battery. As you see with those bolts out, the battery box is hanging on those steel cables at a nice angle to be able to remove the battery. The cables to the battery uh, are secured with an 11 millimeter bolt, and we'll go ahead and loosen those and pull those cables off the battery. There's the negative terminal, and there is the positive terminal, and as you can see, they're both very, very corroded, either from high resistance at the junction, just salt air, or just gunk being thrown up on it from the rear tires. The battery is an AC Delco, and it's an AGM battery. The battery is now out, and it's probably the first time it's seen the light of day in a long, long time. Now time to move on up front and remove the battery from under the hood. Now before we replace the battery in the back, we need to remove the old battery up front because the two batteries are tied together in parallel. Now I know that there is either a parasitic draw from some type of equipment inside the van or I have got some type of slow high resistance short in the battery because they do die over time. And if there is a battery problem, I don't want to put the new battery in in the back, connect it up, and have it trying to charge the old battery still sitting in the front. So I'm going to remove both batteries before I uh, reattach any of the new batteries. My suspicion is that the problem lies with this battery here in the front. When I was driving this vehicle back from Florida, I noticed when I was checking things at rest stops and at gas stations just to make sure things were working fine, that there was gas bubbles or liquid bubbling out of the fittings on the top of the battery. Now this battery does not take water, it's sealed, so there was some heat or some high pressure that was forcing liquid out of the battery. I'm using a 5 16 inch wrench to loosen the nuts on these battery posts, but you could also use an 8 millimeter. I'll pull off the connectors, pull out the battery, clean the connectors, put the new battery in, attach the connectors, then move to the back. Well, there's the old battery out. And there's nothing but a huge mess in the battery tray. So let's get that cleaned up.
There's quite a bit of patina on the connectors for the battery, probably caused by the Florida salt air. So we'll get the connector brush out. It's a wire brush uh, to really scrape all of that off and expose some nice copper. Clean up the battery posts and let's get the connectors back on the posts. Back up under the bus, put the battery in the tray, lifted the tray up, put the bolts in, and now they're all bolted down nice and tight. Cabling is connected to the posts and ready to go. The lower right bolt on the box is missing, and in fact all the metal around it is missing also. It's apparent that the battery was bouncing around in the box. Uh, when I took the battery box off, the bolts were already loose, so there was a considerable amount of movement as the vehicle drove around. I replaced the bolts. They're all torqued down nice and tight, so we should not have any issues in the future. Jack stands are out. Tools are all cleaned up. Now the only thing left to do is start it. Didn't release any of the magic smoke connecting everything up. So let's see how she runs. And she fires right up. 